I have been shooting for four years. Well, basically, I've been shooting since I was about um, 10, 11 years old. 36 years. I've been around firearms for as long as I can remember. 28 years now. Ah, uh, yeah, we started, we went, well, oh yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> My name's Talia Crouch, I'm under 15 junior champion. I shoot at SSAA Brisbane. My father taught me how to shoot when I was 11 years old. My greatest achievement would be beating my father most of the time. Shooting's taught me responsibility for others' safety. The first shot I ever did, it felt amazing. I felt glad that I actually did something that I felt passionate about. I've actually done extremely well in rifle shooting and I end up with a three-way tie for first a few years ago back in uh, South Australia. I'm a T5-6 uh, complete paraplegic. The thing that I really have enjoyed with that shooting like that um, is the people that you meet when you're going to do it. We're like a big family. Um, it doesn't matter um, what discipline you shoot. I've got to the point now because of operations on my shoulders and stuff like that that I can't shoot as well as I used to and I don't shoot my rifle metallic silhouette now like I used to and to coach and help people out that are coming through to better their scores and to really enjoy it, it that gives me really really great pleasure. I've really enjoyed this community and the fact they don't treat me any different than they would any other person. We have a few laughs. I am restricted in a few things, like a lot of times I don't go forward to score me targets. Somebody else will go forward and they'll score the targets for me. Some of the friendships that I've made within the shooting fraternity, they are really dear to me. These people have gone out of their way to help me out, enjoy the shooting with me. We're a good, good bunch together, enjoy each other's company. My name is John Beck. I mainly shoot Action Pistol um, and also Steel Challenge. Last year I was on a SSAA team to go to America. I, I believe Action Match is the most challenging shooting discipline. Um, you have to be fast and accurate. I wanted a challenge and Action certainly is a challenge. So, um, the harder the better for me. When it comes to competition, a lot of people can't handle the pressure basically. I, I have seen people at the practice range getting the highest score you can get and when it, the next following weekend when it comes to competition they they fail. To, to stay in form I train every weekend. In a day's training I might go through anywhere between 300 and 500 possibly 600 rounds probably go through about 25 to 30,000 rounds a year. Well I'm Les and I've lived most of my nearly 70 years on the land. I feel I've got a, a spiritual need to, to live close to nature. Yeah, I've, I've learnt respect for firearms, but before the respect for firearms came the respect for the animals, because that's what I'm so close to. I see uh, that firearms are an essential tool for the farmer to help achieve this balance and to maintain this balance in nature. The sheep industry in probably South Australia, northwestern New South Wales and very much in western Queensland has just about been destroyed, it's decimated because of wild dogs. Um, they put us out of sheep when we lived in the west um, and most people that we know of out there went out of sheep. Yeah, I've seen them all but I'd, I'd much rather see a dog shot than um, caught in a trap or die with a bait. I've seen three of our own dogs die from baits and it's not very pleasant, um, not very pleasant at all. Uh, I mean these animals that I share the area with the environment, they've got a right to be there as much as I have and if they have to die, I, I believe they've got a right to, to die with dignity as I would like to. My family basically lives on the range. My dad runs the competitions. My mother does the store downstairs. 
My sister and I do the canteen upstairs with both our parents. Sporting Shooters Brisbane is our second home. Uh, we're most, <laughs> isn't it? Mm. We're mostly down there every every week and doing different disciplines or sometimes we just go there to volunteer at times on their activity days. Yeah, I love going to do my sport with my children and my family. And even aside from actually winning medals or trophies, it's really good to see their maturity uh, mingling with the adults and, and adults accepting that there is an equal. Yeah, the, the bonding. bonding. The bonding is special when you go away to a, a titles where you actually camp, shoot all day, go and relax around the camp. The jokes go flying, yeah. <laughs> Anybody can do it. So as a family thing, like just that being able to compete against each other in the same grade is, or even separate grades, is pretty cool. It's pretty special, really. When you um, when you consider the cost of membership for sporting shooters is really cheap compared to what we paid for our children to do other sports, and we get to go to one place instead of all over the countryside. Um, so yeah, I recommend it to everybody, for sure. I think people are a, a hell of a lot more safety conscious now with firearms than they once were. In our family, we take safety seriously because we want to protect the people around us and our family members. So safety is very strict in our family. In the safety side of it, uh, my aim is, is that the person that comes through the front gate they need to leave in the same condition as they came through that front gate, so we're in better condition. Yeah, safety is everything. Yeah, we, we rely on safety. And in actual fact, probably being around firearms actually makes them more aware and more responsible for their own actions than other people. <laughs>